two. And he's got it. Tanner Lamb's got it. He breaks away from a pack. He's still on his feet. He's going. Tanner Lamb is going to the Tanner Lamb. Touchdown for you. The Billy Joe Show, a weekly look at Florida A&M Rattler football, is brought to you by Prestige Motor Cars, Nature Coast Eye Care Institute, Tallahassee Democrat, State Farm Insurance, Publix, Gatorade, Sprint, Walt Disney World, Somerset, the Tallahassee Orthopedic Center, the Department of Citrus, Altel, and Anheuser-Busch. And now, the Rattler head coach, Billy Joe, and the voice of the Rattlers, Keith Miles. Rattlers punish the Pirates. Hello and welcome to the Coach Billy Joe Show. I'm Keith Miles along with your host, head coach Billy Joe, who got his 200th victory this weekend, and he got it uh, at a great place. Uh, couldn't happen to a nicer guy, and it certainly <laughs> couldn't happen to a nicer team, the Hampton Pirates. Well, thanks very much, Keith. But it happened, of course, at the most opportune time. Uh, it couldn't happen at a better time against uh, the Hampton Pirates. A uh, team that's been our nemesis for the last two years, and uh, it was really sweet. I'm very, very happy that the players played real well in getting that uh, 200 victories. All right, lots of highlights in this one. 41-6, to six, we'll be back and watch the Pirates walk the plank after this timeout for the Coach Billy Joe Show. Coach, it's Coach Jimmy. Hey, congratulations on the big one, the big 200. Didn't get a chance to congratulate you uh, right after the game, but, hey, I think this is as sweet as it can be right here. Congratulations once again. stickers. I am holding a USDA choice sticker. These stickers go on all of our steaks. All of them. All cuts. We're talking thousands. Yeah, it's pretty ambitious, but that's what we do. So I don't know what they do at other supermarkets. I don't think they put it on all of their steaks, though. Maybe they give them to kids. That would be a sweet thing to do. I give stickers to kids all the time. They love it. If you want a USDA choice steak, you should come to Publix. And if you want a sticker, I'll give you a sticker. <laughs> sure, I could part with a few. Now that this is a relationship, um, I should tell you, I have caller ID <laughs> and you're a hanger upper. I know this because every time you call, it saves your name and number. And that's okay. I mean, it means that you're thinking of me and you're thinking of me a lot. Did you ring doorbells and run as a kid? Sprint caller ID, get it for yourself. We'll even give you the display unit for free. Call 1-877-1-SOLUTION. Congratulations, Coach Joe. I uh, hope you uh, get 200 more, and uh, congratulations again. All right, welcome back to the Coach Billy Joe Show. Coach Clifton Moore, your defensive coordinator, and the defense was revved up in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, yes, they certainly were, Keith. Uh, they just did an outstanding job. Uh, Coach Moore had them well prepared. He had a great game plan. Logistics were uh, really in good shape. Uh, can't say enough about uh, Coach Moore and his defensive staff. They did a fine job in getting our guys ready, and they played superb football. All right, let's go to first half highlights. Armstrong Field on the campus of Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia, and the Rattlers decked out in their orange uh, helmets, the white jerseys, and, of course, the green pants. Not the white pants. <laughs> and Hampton in their home blue. And Jeremy Edwards, coach, really got this thing rocking. Uh, four straight kickoffs they were not able to return because he was booming them. Yes, that's the best uh, kicking in his career uh, thus far. He put all of them in and out of the end zone. Montreal Coley there, the great Hampton back who has been a thorn in our side the last two years, but Coach, we had his number on Saturday. Yes, we certainly did. Uh, we had him uh, well scouted and knew exactly what he was going to do. Watch that guy, number 54, Corey Johnson. He makes a lot of plays on this Saturday afternoon. That pass intended for Warren Broughton, and it was Vernon Mitchell defending there for the Rattlers. Here we go, the Gulf Coast offense, and on first down, there's Big Kenny Williams coach, and Big Kenny had another outstanding performance. Oh, yes, Kenny controls the inside of that defensive line and the secondary 
by pounding up in that middle with some of the inside runs that we have. All right, here's the shake and bake. Kanan Lamb, coach, he had an outstanding afternoon. He was really on fire. Yes, uh, Kanan Lamb uh, did a real good job getting us into the Kanan Lamb. All right, Big Kenny Williams there banging up the middle. And uh, Big Kenny had another outstanding performance, as we said earlier. You see him blocking there. Here's Kanan with the reception. And uh, then he gets bumped out of bounds. And the Rattlers coach methodically moving down the field against this Barnett Hampton Pirate defense. Oh, yes. Uh, as I said before, uh, Hamptons have been our Achilles heel for the last two years. And really, we think we should be working on our fifth consecutive MEAC title. But, uh, of course, uh, Hampton interfered with that uh, the last two years. All right, the Rattlers take the early three to nothing lead. Coach, I know you would rather make that seven to nothing, but we get on the board first, and there's Jerron Daly, coach, who had another outstanding performance. Yes, uh, Jerron uh, plays uh, real good, solid football week in and week out. He's very consistent. We know what we're going to get from uh, Jerron every time he shows up. All right, Darnell Vickers with the pick, and Darnell gets us an excellent return, sets us up, Coach, inside the red zone, inside the 10-yard line, gives us first down and go to goal. Yes, Darnell, we call him DL. Well, I thought he was going to take it to the house, and the house is in the end zone. All right, J. Juan Sider here lays this thing in the end zone, looking for Demetrius Bendross, and Coach, that was close to pass interference, but no call. And uh, here's Big Kenny. He pushes it even closer to the goal line. Yes, uh, Kenny is real tough inside, real physical, very strong. And uh, I tell you, he's a dominating force for us. All right, we settle for the field goal. And the Rattlers take a 6 to nothing lead over the Hampton Pirates. Here's Roy Johnson, coach. He's been the quarterback for Hampton forever. And look at the Rattler defense warming to that ball. Anthony Cola, coach out of Pensacola, had a big day. Oh, yes, he did. Uh, I don't know how many tackles he made for losses, but... He had an outstanding afternoon against those Pirates. Almost had a pick right there. He almost made the Pirates walk the plank. All right, uh, there's big Kenny Williams, and Kenny Williams was pounding those Pirates. And another first down for big Kenny. Here's Jay Wan Sider trying to do his uh, big Kenny Williams impersonation here, <laughs> and he gets a fine run and a first down. Yes, he's almost as big as Kenny. He's a big, tough, physical guy, real smart, very intelligent quarterback. All right, Jay Wan again, back to pass, lays it out there for Canaan Land. He shakes, he bakes, and he's on his way to the Canaan Land. Oh, yes, he's just a fine receiver, doing an outstanding job, but we're going to really hate to see him leave. All right, Jeremy, uh, Quinn Gray coach was holding on Saturday, got a high snap, put it down, though, and the Rattlers take a 13 to nothing lead over the Hampton Pirates. Yes, Quinn Gray's a, a real fine quarterback. Uh, he's very versatile. And as you uh, could see, he's holding for us and did an outstanding job Saturday afternoon. All right, the Pirates connect on a big pass play there to Warren Broughton and come right back with uh, Karima Mayer. Coach, we had seen this guy a few years too, a fine running back for Hampton. And there's Jerron Daly on the stop for the Rattlers. And here's Montreal Coley once again trying to bounce outside. And as you see, the Rattlers swarm into that football. There's Darnell Vickers over there trying to make the play. All right, back on offense, Jay Wan Sider. Coach pulls it down and finds a little hole in the Pirate defense, and he makes them pay. Oh, yes. Uh, Jay Wan has great running skills. Uh, I keep telling uh, Jay Wan uh, he's my Donovan McNabb. I want him to uh, run the ball, throw the ball. I want him to do a whole host of things. And that's to add an additional dimension to this offense. All right, two runs in a row for J. Wan. Comes right back and throws this pass. Is caught by Kanan Lamb. And again, Kanan was on fire on Saturday. He had a big day, and we needed it from him, too. All right, uh, J. Wan again. Crossed the middle for Jaquay Nunnally. Coach, backing into the end zone. Your All-American receiver. And, of course, Jeremy's on to do his thing. And the Rattlers advance the lead now to 20 to nothing. Yes, uh, I tell you, uh, it's a, it, was, it was a great afternoon, and I tell you, Jaquay really sucked it up. He was really uh, hurt, wasn't 100%, but he knew that uh, we needed him in the lineup, and uh, he uh, really came through for us big time uh, while he was really hurt, wasn't 100%. All right, that pass intended for Zorio Smith. We got a pass interference call, and uh, there they come right back to Zorio Smith, and it's Vernon Mitchell on the stop for the Rattlers. Coach Hampton had a hard time getting past the midfield stripe in the first half. Look at Ebby Parsons bust this play up. Oh, yes. Uh, Evie does a real fine job. He had a good afternoon all, all, all day long. He was uh, uh, just uh, wreaking havoc with the Pirates. But uh, our defensive plan was just super, and they could not, uh, 
They could not answer. They could not answer the bell. They could not come out and answer what we were doing to them. All right, Wendell Ashley takes it into the end zone, gets a late hit, no flag. Well, here's a flag, there it is. And uh, the Rattlers now up 26 to nothing, and Jeremy on, Mr. Automatic, Mr. Reliable, 27 to nothing, Coach. And there we go, 27 to nothing is where it stood at the half. Right, that, that's true. And you know, uh, uh, Ashley's helmet came off. Uh, he did not take his helmet off, mm -hmm. but we were penalized because they, the officials thought that Ashley had taken his helmet off uh, willingly, but it was an accident. The helmet just fell off. Yeah, right. Should have been Those a late hit. Should have been a late hit. He <laughs> was hit after he was in the end zone. That's right. All right, 27 to nothing. The Rattlers leading the Pirates of Hampton, and we'll come back and take a look at second half highlights after this timeout on the Coach Billy Joe Show. Wish uh, Coach Billy uh, a lot of uh, congratulations and all that type of thing for winning his 200th game because it's really been a pleasure history to be part of it. Hi, I'm Craig Hornsby, and on behalf of Prestige Infinity, I would like to wish Coach Joe and all the Florida A&M Rattlers the best of luck in the upcoming season. Thanks, Craig. Winning is the name of the game. I take great pride in being associated with the winner of the J.D. Power Award for Best Luxury Car in Initial Quality the Infinity i30 and Prestige Infinity. Test drive the Infinity i30 today at Prestige Infinity, proud sponsor of Rattler Football. Prestige Infinity, 3355 Northeast Capital Circle. Saturday, November 20th at 8 p.m., the biggest fun and football weekend of the year. The 20th Annual Florida Classic, presented by Walt Disney World Resort. The BCC Wildcats seek revenge against the talented Van U Rattlers in a battle for the ages at the Florida Citrus Bowl Stadium, Orlando. And yes, it's another spectacular halftime show as both bands get busy. And there's much, much more. Tickets at the BCC and Van U box office or call Ticketmaster today. It's fun. It's football. It's the 20th Annual Florida Classic. Get to it. Every day, people from all over the world will see his smiling face. They'll see the magic he creates and the joy and happiness he brings. Of course, we couldn't have just anyone play his part. Become a cast member at the Walt Disney World Resort and discover a world of great friends, great benefits, and even greater opportunities. Call 407-828-1000 and press 1 to discover a world of opportunities. It's like we were always there for you. We were there when you became an independent woman. And when you found a place you could call your own. We were there when you finally told your mother, you were getting married! And now that you have more dependence than independence, and you need life insurance, there's no one better to ask than the State Farm agent you've always trusted to care for your car, your home, and you. State Farm is there for you, because State Farm is there for life. Congratulations, Coach Billy, on your 200th victory. Uh, that's quite a feat. Uh, good job. Been a pleasure working for you. The best boss in the, in the world. And how about a raise? All right, that's Coach Terry Jones. Coach, he's not going anywhere, is he? Uh, no, he better not. <laughs> he's a great defensive line coach and an outstanding special team coach. He's doing a super job, and uh, I'll tell him uh, when I get back, uh, I'll personally give all our coaches uh, a raise. All right, 20. Out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> 27 to nothing is our score coach at the half, and I know you're happy with, where, with way, the way the game is going, but it's still a whole nother half to go. That's right. Uh, you know, Hampton, they're a real fine football team. They have a lot of character. They have a lot of pride. We knew that they were not going to just lay down. Mm -hmm. So uh, we tried to let our players know at halftime that uh, we had to still be focused, still be committed to finish this game out and play real good the last 30 minutes. All right, let's go to second half highlights. Armstrong Field, the Rattlers leading 27 to nothing as we go to the second half and third quarter action here. And there he is, Coach Billy Joe, making his way back to the press box. And uh, unlike some other places, they didn't stop him from trying to get back to the press box. <laughs> Here's Big Kenny Williams. And as we get started, get on track, we receive the second half kickoff. And Coach, the Gulf Coast offense goes right back to work. Yes, uh, we had to score more points because uh, we were not assured of a victory just by scoring 27 in, uh, in the first half. As a matter of fact, it should have been 35 to nothing at halftime. We missed two early touchdowns and ended up with just uh, two field goals. All right, big Kenny Williams again, banging up in there in the middle. And uh, that pass intended for uh, Charlie Allen. Coach, you are 
probably won't see him miss many more during his career. No, uh, Charlie has great hands, and uh, he's going to be a real fine receiver for us in the future. All right, Grover Fields comes up and puts a big hit on Mike Jones, the fullback for uh, Hampton. Roy uh, Johnson, coach, look at Jerron Daly getting after him. Tosses that pass out there, gets it to Mike Jones, and of course the Rattlers swarm to the football. Great pressure though, coach, from Jerron Daly. That's right. Uh, one thing we have as a defensive unit is team speed. We can fly to the ball. We swarm extremely well, and our, we have a lot of hitters on the defensive unit as well. So we have, we have an outstanding defensive unit. They're playing good football this year. All right, Talis Bolden with a seven-yard punt. Jaywan Sider going to make him pay. Demetrius Bendross wide open in the end zone. Count it. It's six more for the Rattlers. Oh, yes. Uh, that play was uh, just like it's drawn up on the chalkboard. Uh, Jaywan uh, threw a beautiful pass. Uh, Demetrius uh, uh, ben Dross uh, running an excellent route and put the ball in and of course it ended up being six points. All right, you saw Alonzo Lee there, used to be our secondary coach. He's the defensive coordinator for Hampton and coach, he's trying to figure it out. Yes, he's trying to figure it out. Uh, coach Lee is a real fine coach, an outstanding defensive coordinator and uh, uh, we really have a great relationship and uh, I wish them well. hope they don't lose another game the remaining part of the year. All right, Jerron Daly putting the brakes on uh, Roy Johnson. We go right back on offense, and uh, Jaywan connects here with uh, Walton, and he's bumped out of bounds after a nice little run after catch. And here we go once again. Good protection, Coach, from the offensive line for Jaywan Sider, and Kanan is on his way once again. What a fine reception. And, Coach, Kanan's a strong guy. He is not afraid to use that stiff arm. No, Kanan's not only strong, but he's very physical. He's mm -hmm. a tough individual. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a spiritually and religiously oriented, but he'll hit you. <laughs> he will hit you. All right, Cedric Mitchell with the fine reception, and there's Kanan, takes us to the Kanan land once again, hands uh, Chris Parker the football, and then uh, thanks the good almighty for another trip to the Kanan land. That's right, and I, and I wish it, hope he has many more. <laughs> Jeremy adds the 41st point, and it's 41 to nothing. Coach, we've got the shutout going. I know you want the goose egg. Yes, uh, we wanted that shutout. We wanted the zero, but uh, uh, evidently it was uh, not going to happen, but uh, we did want a shutout. Uh, this was a great play on the ball by Mike Compton, the receiver for Hampton. As the, Aaron Gray actually tipped that ball, Coach, and uh, Compton uh, had presence of mind and concentration to hold on for the reception. Here's Derek McElwain, and once again, you see the Rattlers are just coming up, pounding up in the middle. Yes, uh, we were uh, really after uh, the Pirates big time, and uh, we were just not going to uh, beat them, but we wanted to play well beating them. All right, if we go to fourth quarter action, it's 41 to nothing. We're just starting the fourth quarter. You saw Jerron Daly on a big play there, and here's uh, Tyron Johnson, coach, with another sack for the Big T this year. Oh, yes, uh, Tyron Johnson out of Northwestern High School down there in uh, Miami. Uh, just had an excellent uh, day, and uh, I can't think of a game where he didn't play well. He, he had another great day. All right, Quinn Gray in at quarterback now. He completes that pass to Charlie Allen, but Charlie fumbles uh, as he goes down. Corey Johnson comes in and snuffs out this play to Derek McElwain. What a great tackle by Corey Johnson. Yes, uh, this game against uh, Hampton may have been Corey's uh, best game uh, to date. He had an outstanding uh, game. All right, Roy Johnson here. There's Richard Brooks. Ball pops out. And uh, it's picked up by the receiver, Broughton, and uh, Grover Fields brings him down after a fine run. Hampton now on the move, Coach, trying to get on the scoreboard before this thing ends. Yes, they have a new quarterback in the game, and he throws a nice ball. He moves around uh, beautifully, and uh, he surprised us with his mobility. Yeah, Octavius Cash, and he'll be back, Coach. He's just a junior. He goes in for six, and uh, he's celebrating down there. I think they get a penalty for that. Yes, and, they did. Uh, uh, I think this is A.C. Wyatt's extra point attempt is no good, and it's 41-6. to six. There's Coach Joe coming down and receiving congratulations from uh, alumni, and that's the president of Hampton there, uh, giving Coach Joe some congratulations. And uh, Coach, uh, win number 200, and there's Alonzo Lee coming over to say congratulations. Yes, and that's his little son, uh, Joshua. But, uh, yes, uh, Coach Lee and I are, are great friends, and, uh, again, uh, I wish him well and uh, hope they don't lose another game this year. 41-6, to six, Coach. Uh, boy, I know you probably never thought it was going to be like that, but it was great to go up to Hampton, Virginia, and really play well. No mistakes, virtually no mistakes. The Rattlers really put it all together on Saturday. Right, that is true. Uh, the coaches, when we had our staff meeting, we said that uh, either we're going to go up to Hampton and, and we're going to either lose 
or we're going to blow them out. It's going to be one or the other. And uh, we knew that we had the ability to put some points on them and stop them cold. But you never know which team's going to show up. But we now know that, hey, the Rattlers showed up, and hopefully all these four remaining games, the real Rattlers will show up. And if we do, uh, we should be okay to remain part of the season if the real Rattlers show up. All we need is a little unadulterated Rattler football. <laughs> That's exactly right. All right, we're going to go and look at final stats as we go to break. Brought to you by Walt Disney World. There's more on the Coach Billy Joe Show after this timeout. FAMU students, alumni, and faculty have been shopping with Somerset Furniture for years because they know when you're looking for quality at reasonable prices, there's only one place, Somerset Furniture. From bedroom suits to living room suits, dining rooms to entertainment centers, Somerset has all the latest styles and fabrics in stock. And if you just need some items to spruce up with, see our selection of occasional tables, lamps, recliners, and more. It's always fun to shop at Somerset Furniture. We're a little out of the way, but well worth the trip. This is Dr. Sugar. He's one of the best in the country at the cold laser LASIK procedure. He works with people like this, using technology like this, to produce results like this. LASIK, Dr. Joel Sugar, 1-800-870-6001. Call now for more information about LASIK and see better. By the way, you don't have to hug the doctor, but chances are you will. At the Tallahassee Democrat, we're putting first things first. You've told us how important local news is to you. That's why we're moving it to the first section. Now every day, you'll find more local news and stories, local photos, faces and places, and more local information you can use right where it belongs, in the first section of your Tallahassee Democrat. It's about our community, the Tallahassee Democrat, keeping you in touch. With local news. It's been a tradition since 1876. Think about that. That's more than 120 years ago that this company started making Budweiser under Adolphus Bush. The family has always put in the forefront, protect the excellence of the product Budweiser. And I think he would be very happy that the generations of his family have practiced what he taught us. Welcome back to the Coach Billy Joe Show. Let's take a look at our players of the game for the FAMU Hampton contest. Our defensive player of the game, Corey Johnson. Coach, Corey stepped it up and played a heck of a game. Corey had one unbelievable, uh, outstanding game. Just did a great job. Our co-offensive player of the game, Jaywan Sider. Coach, four touchdown passes for the big quarterback. I was really happy for Jaywan to come back with a great performance from a rather lackluster performance against Howard. And our other co-offensive player of the game, Kanan Lamb, coach, he took us to the Kanan Land two times against the Hampton Pirates. Oh yes, Mr. Reliable, Mr. Dependability, he just did a super job. I tell you, I really like that receiver. And our special teams player of the game, Jeremy Edwards, coach. Jeremy had an outstanding day kicking the football. That's right, I can't say uh, enough uh, superlatives uh, about Jeremy, just a, a super individual, uh, fine kicker. On to the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference scoreboard. Virginia Union coach upsets Norfolk State 21-9 in the Gold Bowl. North Carolina a and a big homecoming win over Howard 51-0 in Greensboro. And Delaware State stings the Morgan State Bears 34-20 over in Dover. Oh, yes, and uh, Delaware State, uh, they have it going on right now. They're going to be a very competitive opponent for us on homecoming. All right, Coach, Delaware State coming in with a great quarterback, Rasan Matthews. Uh, he can really throw the football. Yes, he's an outstanding quarterback. He's been around there for four years, so he's very experienced. All right, let's take a look at the conference standings. The Rattlers on top at 5-0, 5-2 overall. a and a half game back at 4-0 in league play, 6-1 overall. And Delaware State, Coach, coming to town 3-1. That's right. Uh, they're still in the mix. All right, we'll be back with more after this time out on the Coach Billy Joe Show.
Here's your personal invitation to join us for Billy Joe Live, our call-in show, Mount Zion Calypso Cafe, each Tuesday night, 7.30 to 8.30, broadcast live on WVHT Hot 105.7. Come on out Tuesday night and join us as we talk about punishing the Pirates up in Hampton. And Coach, we did a little something special for you. For your 200th victory, we had to have the cake. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, thank you. Thanks on the Billy much. Joe Show. Thanks very much, Keith. And uh, Patrick Lee, uh, our marketing director, you guys are super. I really appreciate your support, and it's great working with both of you. You guys are great. Thanks very much. Well, Bragg Stadium is going to be rocking this Saturday, Coach, when those Hornets come to town for uh, Delaware State. It's homecoming, but it's also another big Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference uh, contest, Coach, and I know you want the Rattlers to do it up in grand style. No question about it. It's homecoming, and uh, we want to look impressive, and we want 201 now. <laughs> But uh, Delaware State, uh, they loom very large. They're a very formidable foe, and we can't take them lightly. Yeah, no, we got, sir. got four big games still remaining for the Rattlers for this season is over with coaching. We need the Rattler fans to come on out. Come out Tuesday and talk Rattler football. Come out Saturday and support the team and uh, help us on the victory. That's right, because there are remaining four games are the toughest uh, four games remaining of any MEAC school. So the last four games are tough, but let's take one at a time. We have homecoming, we have Delaware State, and we have to beat them if we're going to continue our trek towards the MEAC championship. All right, we'll see you Tuesday night for Billy Joe Live. We'll see you Saturday at Bragg Stadium. And, of course, we'll have all of the highlights right here next week on the Coach Billy Joe Show. The Billy Joe Show was brought to you by Prestige Motor Cars, Nature Coast Eye Care Institute, the Tallahassee Democrat, State Farm Insurance, Publix, Gatorade, Sprint, Walt Disney World, Somerset, the Tallahassee Orthopedic Center, the Department of Citrus, Altel, and Anheuser-Busch.